Hello guys! So today I'm back with a cut crease makeup tutorial and to create this look I use the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. To start off I'm using the Nabla Concealer in the shade Ivory. I'm just applying that all over my lids and I'm using it as a primer because it gives a sticky base for the eyeshadows to stick on top of <laughs> and they, they show up really well on top of it. And I'm blending it out with my Morphe sponge. So with the Huda Nude Palette the first shade I'm taking is the shade raw which is a kind of chocolate brown shade on a flat brush i'm just packing that onto the crease in a cut crease shape so i don't have to use the concealer too much later to cut the crease how many times can i say cut the crease <laughs> and uh, i'm using the shade teddy to blend that out on a fluffy brush just to make sure there are no harsh lines because we don't want any harsh lines and so I took a while like blending it out and I wanted to mm, create a gradient from dark to light. So I mixed the shades Raw and Teddy to blend it out even further. Taking the Nabla concealer again, I'm taking that on a flat brush and I'm cutting the crease. And this is a really good concealer to use to cut the crease because it's super, super opaque. It's like my favorite concealer ever. And so I'm just cutting the crease as I said 3,000 times before. After that, I'm going to take the shade Play from the Huda Beauty palette, uh, mixed with Bear, which is a kind of off-white shade, and I'm using that to set the concealer just to make sure it's not sticky and um, it doesn't crease. I'm then taking the shade Tease, and I'm taking it on an angled brush. I'm using this to create a winged eyeliner shape, and I'm just building it up so that the colour is really intense. After I've placed down the colour, I'm taking a pencil brush just to smoke it out a bit. I also use the black from another palette just to make it a bit more intense so that it showed up even more. Then for foundation, I'm taking the Nabla Close-Up Concealer. Uh, no, foundation. <laughs> and I'm just dotting that all, all around my face. And I'm using the Morphe sponge again to blend it all out. And I just blend, blend. Pat, 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 until I'm happy with the coverage. It's a really nice foundation. It's got a kind of dewy finish and it's super full coverage. And then I'm taking the Nabla concealer again and I'm just putting that under my eyes, down the nose, on the chin and on the forehead just to highlight the face. And blending it again with my Morphe sponge. This is the best sponge ever. It's my favourite. <laughs> After I am done, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Butter Powder and I'm using that to set under the eyes and also the rest of my face. This gives like a really, really smooth look to the face and keeps me matte all day. Then for contour, I'm taking the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D and I'm just contouring the face um, the under the cheekbones, the temples and also under the jawline. Never forget, under the jawline. <laughs> After that, I'm taking the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. I'm mixing the three shades on the right and I'm using that to highlight the face on the cheekbones, down the nose, on the chin. This is like the most intense highlight ever. I'm obsessed and it's super smooth, it's not powdery at all. Then for brows, I use the Benefit, um, what's it called? Gimme Brow in the shade 2 and I'm just brushing that through to give a um, full effect. <laughs> And the, the waterline, I'm using the shade Tease again, and I'm going in with mascara just to blacken out the, my natural eyelashes before I put on falsies. For lipstick, I'm using the Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D in Bow and Arrow, which is like a brownie nude shade. This is like my perfect everyday colour, and I'm just putting it on my lips. <laughs> and then we're moving on to... Ah, I'm highlighting the brow bone. And then I applied some lashes and we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.